Hello everyone and welcome back to our universe. Today we're going to be talking about comets. So in this video I'm just going to be talking about all the good things about comets in our solar system. What exactly is a comet? What's the difference between a comet and an asteroid? What is the size of a comet? And are there any examples of comets hitting planets? So let's jump right in and talk about comets. Comets are basically dusty snowballs that orbit the sun. They are made of ices, such as water, carbon dioxide, ammonia, methane, and all mixed in with dust. These materials come from the time when the solar system was first formed. Comets have an icy centre, called the nucleus, and this is surrounded by a large cloud of gas and dust, called the coma. The coma is created when the ice in the nucleus is warmed up by the sun and then vaporises. Comets develop two tails as they travel closer to the sun. The first tail is a straight gas tail and the second one is a curved dust tail. The gas tail is created by the solar wind. This pushes gas away from the comet's coma. The dust from the coma is not affected by magnetic fields but is vaporised by the sun's heat and then forms a curved tail which follows the comet's orbit. So what exactly is the difference between a comet and an asteroid? Well, the main difference between comets and asteroids is their composition, as in what exactly are they made of? Asteroids are made up of metals and rocky material, while comets are made up of ice, dust and rocky material. Comets and asteroids were both formed in the early history of our solar system, about 4.5 billion years ago. Asteroids form closer to the sun, where it is too warm for ices to remain solid. This is why we see comets on massive elongated orbits, because they're coming from the outer solar system. Comets that actually approach the sun lose a lot of material with each orbit, because some of the ice melts and vaporises to form the tail. Another thing that comets are very renowned for is meteor showers. As a comet travels very close to the sun, it heats up and part of the comet vaporises. After the comet has orbited the sun many times, a lot of small pieces of the comet are left behind, creating a comet path. A meteor shower occurs when the Earth passes through the path of a comet. When this happens, it creates streaks of light across the night sky that are burnt up in the Earth's atmosphere. And these parts of the comet's debris are mostly just the size of grains of sand, but heated up to very high temperatures and these bits of debris that enter the Earth's atmosphere are called meteors. On any night on the planet Earth, there are several small meteor showers that occur across the night sky. However, during a meteor shower, tens to hundreds of meteors can actually be seen each hour. Many of these meteor showers can actually be predicted and can occur at the same time each year because of the orbit of the comet. So how big can comets get? Well, most comets have a nucleus. This is the centre of the comet, and these can be about six miles wide. The size of a comet basically depends on two things, how close it is to the sun, and how much debris it could actually coalesce in the early solar system. The vaporised cloud behind the comet, or coma, can expand out to over 50,000 miles. A tail also forms around the comet as it approaches the sun, and these tails can be over 600,000 miles long. So basically, have we seen any comets hit any planet in our solar system? Well, yes. Between the 16th and the 22nd of July in 1994, several pieces of the comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 collided with the gas giant of Jupiter. It was the first observation of two solar system objects colliding, the comet had been captured and broken apart by Jupiter's very strong gravity, and it was broken up into more than 20 fragments. It hit speeds of over 130,000 miles per hour, and created a very large dark streak on Jupiter's atmosphere, and this lasted for several weeks. These dark scars were actually the size of our very own planet. Pretty scary. We have seen other collisions of smaller bodies plunge into Jupiter's atmosphere, so this is quite a common occurrence in our solar system, and the Earth will always be at risk of these comets. 
So, I hope that's given you a great insight into comets. What exactly is a comet? What's the difference between a comet and an asteroid? And how big can these comets get? And as always, if you've enjoyed the video, click the like button, and if you want to support the channel, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.